Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Bellows' Panic Room and our Omnicron Conspiracy playthrough. It's an empty, upturned cardboard box that Bellows is using for a table. And what's a panic room without loose pipes lying around in a sort of panicked fashion? I think that's all there is to see in the panic room. So, uh, let's go forth. Hey, Bellows. Nice computer. Just says BNC. Bellows, do you have... Actually, I should probably... Oh, A letter to Bellows. Right, we'll uh, we'll drop the strange key. And... Eh, the hamburger. We're not going to use it. Even though our health isn't full. Let's uh, read this letter and see what's going on. It's a crudely written letter to Bellows. Yes, I'm aware of that. I, I want to read it. Read. Pay up, Bellows, or we'll blow your nose off. Sincerely, the Sarbai. Not the most pleasant of letters, I have to say. But, you know, the Sarbai, they're not really known for being the most pleasant of people. So, let's see. Should we keep the letter? Let's talk to Bellows. You know us. If you were still interested in that beautiful lake property I'm selling, just give me the word. Well, Bellows, we don't really have time for buying of Lakeview properties. We've got a universe to save, so if you don't mind, we'll head off. And I think I'll take a quick look at the neighborhood, see if there's anything interesting. No time for sitting down. We've got a neighborhood to look at and also inspect the bar. So let's see what's in here. It's locked. Well, if all of these are going to be locked... Ooh, a mentant. Come here, you drugged-up lunatic! I said, come here. Is he visiting Bellows? No, he's not. Maybe a oh, he's just saying the same thing that all mentants say. Okay, we'll head on and we'll look at all these houses. And if the next one's locked, and they're all locked, I might just skip on. Well, it appears that everything was locked. Ooh, look at those tentacles. But we've made it to the green bar. The green tattoo bar. Some nice PC speaker music. Let's talk to this Hefly. Oh, sir, can you see that? I'm talking to the beautiful lady here. What beautiful lady? That thing, the she-fly? His par is a man for all species, including musicians. But they don't seem very talkative. So, we've got the bar, we've got a cocktail we could take. You know, we don't really need that letter to Bellows. I like the object permanence, though. If you set the letter down there, it'll show that the letter is on the table. So you don't kind of forget it. Wine rack. It seems loose. But we don't really uh, have a clue what to do with it, I guess. I mean, I'd love to save bellows and everything. The kegs look weathered and reused. It's probably bootleg stuff. This is all very dodgy. And I feel like we have to interact with the wine rack somehow. Shooting didn't do anything. So I guess we'll just leave it for now. If only the creator was watching this, they'd be able to tell me what to do in the comments section. Alright, green tattoo bar. Nice little place, but I think we'll leave it now. Hi big fella, today I'm giving free samples to all the handsome studs I meet. Mm -hmm. My, is that a plasma cannon in your pants, or are you just glad to see me? If you want more, honey, just give me 50 credits, and I'll give you anything your heart desires. If you change your mind, handsome, you know where to find me. Hi again, stud, did you miss me? We don't have time for prostitution. This is a family game. No, I think a kiss is enough. Thank you very much. Let's have a look at the motel. If you want a room, I'll cost you 59 credits. No, we don't want a room here. Maybe there's some plot-specific reason to, you know, look in these motel lobby rooms. But, ooh, interesting plant. You wonder if it has a name. Hmm. Did I just ignore that number three? Let's go back and look at that. I've, I have a feeling that they're all going to be locked. 
but oh well. It's not the end of the world, I guess. You know, it just, it's one of those things where the creator has sort of expanded upon the universe a bit and fleshed things out and made them realistic. And I'm going to do a direct comparison to Fallout New Vegas. The world of Fallout New Vegas was one that actually functioned. It was actually real in that the systems in place worked. And it feels like Streaks with Omnicron, including the tentacles on the grate there, is trying to make this feel like a more lived-in world than the original game. Which is pretty cool. So, we'll head back now, because obviously our health is lower than we want it to be, and our energy is lower. Ah, home sweet home. Heal me up, droid! You're hurt. You might want to use the rejuvenation booth to heal, boss. The rejuvenation booth. It's about time we finally use that, yes. A full healing coming up, boss. Much better. Ah, you're not wrong. I feel like I could take on the universe now. The bed is so comfortable that you fall asleep as soon as your head hits the pillow. It's finally time to take out these mentants in their drug den. We thought it was a peaceful temple. We were wrong. Let's see just how hideous the innards really are. Okay, here we go. Well, you're not attacking me. That's a good sign. Hmm, maybe I should set it on stun. Your weapon is now set to stun. Warning, stun isn't programmed yet. It will still kill. Ah, well, I guess we're going to have some dead mentants soon then. All right, I'm just going to trespass here. Don't mind me. What is that? Some sort of urn. It is an incense urn, but that's definitely not incense burning inside it. They're up to some crazy no good things, these drugged up lunatics. You know, which is kind of what you expect out of a drugged up lunatic. Oh! I gotcha! Ha! You could see him walking towards me. These guys aren't. These mentants are either in some form of deep and meaningful meditation, or they are stoned out of their minds on stardust. I'm going to bet the latter. They don't appear to be in any condition. Oh, ow! Well, that guy tried to stop me. Look at that skull. Oh, it's a door. Right. Is there anything over here? Nope. Yes, we'll just head in here. Note added. Oh, mentat. Ow. I'm really bad at this, you know, shooting first thing. Stardust factory located. The Stardust factory is on the renegade mentant temple. Klein Street temple, the... Menton Temple on Klein Street's run by druggies, we know this. Okay. But it's nice that our log updated. Looks like you found the Stardust Factory. This stuff needs to be destroyed. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Flammable chemicals. <laughs> we know what to do here. This should put an end to the Stardust products. Oh, there's a countdown. We've got to get out of here. Six, five, four. We're not going to make it. <laughs> oh no! Ah, the sweet sound of Star Police Justice. And there was the Mentant at the start of the building decided he wanted a piece of me. No one takes a piece of his spars without his permission. Okay. Stardust Factory destroyed. The Stardust Factory is destroyed, but I still need to deal with its leader. Yes. Well, I'm not sure I'll do that in, like, the ten minutes remaining of this playthrough, but... Let's, uh, let's go to the left, see what's in this Mentant temple. Okay, pyramids with a seeing eye, bunch of drugged up Mentants, sort of what you'd expect really, and more druggies. I don't know if I was expecting anything different really, but yeah, that'll do nicely. So, we've destroyed the temple, I guess it's time to go off to the space station. But before we can do that, we're going to need... To get fueled up. And I definitely won't fast forward through the excitement.
Okay. The transporter grid is connected to the Delphi Science Complex, boss. Thank you, pal. So, it's basically telling you, use the transporter, don't try and go through the airlock. All right. Let's go down to the surface of this science station. The DSC transporter room. Again, it looks different. Kudos to not using copy-pasted assets. The Delphi Science Complex. With a sign saying, use lift. So, let's immediately go to the surface. This huge door blocks access to the moon surface airlock. There's probably nothing out there except a cargo drop-off pad anyway. So the game is essentially saying to us, right, there's, there's nothing of interest. Welcome to the galactically famous Delphi Science Complex. Thank you. This establishment was founded and is managed by Court Ungar Jr. Visitors, please report to his office. The resident researchers include Dr. Lamar Quattro, we know that name, Dr. Darvod Santos, Dr. Lester Galloway, and Ms. Rand Ungar. A relation, presumably, to the other Ungar. Court Ungar Jr. Interesting. A pile of doctors and a Ms. Sounds like my old university. Okay, we'll go to the offices first. And uh, let's talk to Zot Bohr if he's in. It's what I do best. Break into doctors' offices and speak to them. Hello, I'm Zot Bohr, the Special Research Commissioner. Is this about Dr. Quattro's death? It most certainly is. He ran the Particle Dynamics Lab. He was working on a sinister project. And when I forbade it, he became angry and secretive. So you're saying he was a mod scientist? His technicians are taking stock of his lab, if you want to talk to them. Looks like there's more dialogue for me. Good luck, Captain. Dr. Quattro was a brilliant but troubled man. Just like me. Is Pars. Man of trouble. Mostly because I cause it. Alright, uh, there's Rand Ungar. I guess I should go to them. Oh, the door's locked. They must be elsewhere. Okay. So, Court Ungar in office. That's handy. Let's go to Lester Galloway's room. Uh, not much here, except some schematics. Galloway's drawn some kind of chart. It could be financial projection, scientific theory, or witchcraft for all you know. <laughs> and streaks, there was a spelling error in that. Unacceptable. So let's go to Court Ungar Jr. Oh, he's got a receptionist. Court Ungar Jr. is in, sir. I'll let him know you're coming in. Well, you know what? It's not like the Chief of Police where we had to surrender our weapon. Hey! How do you do? He's got a pal too. And how do you do, pal? Ah, hello. I take it you're investigating the attack on the Black Star. My name is Court Ungar Jr. I own and manage this research complex. We just received word of the attack yesterday. One of my best scientists was on that ship. The death of Dr. Quattro is a great tragedy. I sincerely hope you find his killer soon. Naturally, I am granting you access to the entire complex. Sweet! We can go wherever we want! And annoy whoever we please. Please feel free to search his lab and sleeping quarters. His lab is the one signed particle dynamics. Well, joke's on you, Court Ungar Jr. We already know that he was up to no good. Oh, and if you see my sister Rand, introduce yourself. She always seems interested in a new face. A super gal. Runs the robotics lab, helps dad administer his droid business, and still finds time for a social life. So, why are you telling me that your sister is wonderful? Are you trying to set us up? Such energy. Some of her friends don't seem very scientific though. Well, you'll like her. Court, you're pressing far too hard. You don't need to tell this space cop that he is to court Ms. Ungar. Oh, a master terminal. Oh, only court Ungar can access it. This must be the supercomputer running the complex. What else have we got here? Screen bank. No idea. I like that there's areas that Ace just... He's not familiar with. He's a police officer. He, he doesn't know all this technical stuff. He knows how to talk to women, shoot bad guys, and solve mysteries on space stations. That's 
the limit of his expertise. Okay, let's go to the residential section then, now that we are given full access to annoy everybody. Let's go. Oh, what is that? This droid delivers domestic supplies to the quarters. Cool. It's like a glorified Roomba, but carrying stuff. What are you doing in here? Please leave right now. I am a space cop. You can't just... Oh, whatever. It's not worth the effort. Let's see if there's anybody a bit more inviting. Dr. Santos? Doesn't appear to be anybody there. Well, that's underwhelming. Who else have we got this side? Ah, Quattro. Not going to find anybody in here. Quattro's quarters. Hmm, what's that on the shelf? A letter. Huh. Let's uh, read it. Dear Dr. Quattro, with regards to your request for funds to build a force neutralizer, are you kidding? Such a device could blow a hole the size of a planet through the fabric of the universe. Yes, that, that's a bit dangerous. Not only will we not fund such insanity, we absolutely forbid you from doing any more research on this device. Should someone wield such a weapon, the stable power balance of the entire universe would... Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So it was Dr. Zot that uh, forbid him. Let's put that there back. And uh, we could consult our notes. We could go in that door, I guess. Or we could take the letter. You know, just as sort of evidence that uh, uh, Omnimon. Whatever. We'll, we'll, you know, carry on. Because we've got uh, Siungar. Oh, that's, uh, that's the fellow we were talking to before. He's got a nice bed and some interesting taste in paintings, but nothing remarkable. There's a canteen. These machines feed the food dispensers with compacted matter. Mmm. Compacted matter. Mmm. Simpsons reference. This developer clearly has a sense of humour. Okay, so we've got Galloway. Oh, look at his tasting couches. This is a man who likes comfort. But sadly, there's no time for us to luxuriate. Because we've got to get on with his investigation. We are technically a space cop, you know. We should be performing investigations where crimes have been committed. You know, instead of wandering around, kissing people. Right. Okay, okay. There we go. We put the Soricelli down. Hello. Hi, handsome. You must be investigating the Black Star attack. Well, my name is Rand Ungar. I run the robotics lab on the top floor. I hardly knew Dr. Quattro, but his death is a tragedy. If I could help in any way, I would. Say, maybe I can find another way to help while you're here. Another way to help? That? Why are you looking at me with those eyes? I'm sure you don't get much time for proper stress reduction in your line of work. No, ma'am. No, I do not. Let's see if I can work out some of your tensions. Why don't we go into my bedroom and just relax for a while? Hmm. I guess we could do that as part of the investigation to see if she has any more information for us. Come on, then. Oh! Come here! Come here! I know you've been checking my peripherals for compatibility. I can assure you I'm online and ready to interface. Interface? We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience, but this is a family game, and this is a family channel. Well, Captain, I hope you're satisfied that I'm totally innocent. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get ready for work. Now, it was at this point that I wandered out like an idiot, observed some guns, and then wandered out of the entire apartment. You're not meant to do that. You see, the entire playthrough of the Omnicron Conspiracy 
relies upon you not doing that. Instead, you have to pick up a card from her desk. Even though she's right there watching, seems a bit unintuitive, but you do that, and then you make your way out. So I had to replay all of that in order to get the card, because I'd soft lock myself out of the rest of the game. Will I manage to soft lock myself out of the game again? Will Ace Pars unravel the murder investigation? Find out next time.